Welcome back for your March monthly reading. If you are new here, my name is Jen and I help people find their passion and their purpose using techniques such as astrology, tarot, and intuitive coaching. So if you're interested in working with me or booking a session, be sure, be sure to check the link in the description box below. Also, I am hosting a webinar series on March 3rd. It's going to be the first of the series and it's all about how to learn how to read tarot. Um, the first of the series is going to be kind of the most important one because it's going to be delving into the major arcana not just about learning but we're understanding the cards and understanding how they um, also tie in with our own spiritual journeys how we can use it to deepen our practice as well as understand other people where they're at while we're doing readings for them so I highly recommend uh, checking it out if you sign up before the 25th you're going to get 20% off of your ticket and it is 44 for the first one i think the second one will be um cheaper since it's delving into the minor arcana but this one's going to be like really in depth probably two and a half to three hours um so definitely sign up if you want to learn more uh let's get into the reading though and see what's going on for you the song i got on shuffle for you guys was dancing by let's see who it's by um aaron smith it's like get up on the floor dancing all night long da -na 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 -na. it's like a good dance jam like it makes it's a good feel good song so i feel like you guys are in like that feel good mood sag um going into march so let's see let's pull some oracle cards we have refine your attention do all things in moderation and seek hidden treasure so maybe it's that <laughs> don't have too much fun let's pull some monology cards oh conclusions are within reach so i think that you're about to come out of this cycle where you've been a little bit focused on the past i think that you're shifting your focus to like the future and what you can manifest for the future we have what do you need to release okay so i think that you're going to be having like a big release here in march and that's kind of what's promoting this feel good feeling and we have work through your fears so love it love it love it love it i feel like you guys are kind of going to be letting go to a certain degree and and really um, doing some of the work, gearing up, getting ready for kind of those summer months, getting ready for when we open back up and the world goes a little bit back to normal, hopefully, hopefully. Um, I'm hoping by summer, but we'll see. So the bottom of the deck here, we have the seven of swords. So obviously that seven of swords, it can talk about um deception but it can also be like how are you deceiving yourself you know how are you deceiving yourself and i think that this month at least early on in the month or moving into the month you are kind of in this energy of confronting confronting how you're keeping yourself from moving forward confronting like what have you held on to longer than you should type of things like how are you deceiving yourself in terms of going after what it is that you want um so in the overall energy we have the page of wands so the page of wands this can talk about you kind of um starting some kind of new passion or taking on some kind of new adventure it can talk about you know a message that comes in let's get a clarifier just to see more specifically what is this page of wands doing here what is the page of wands doing here aha uh -huh, we have the five of pentacles so this is like that out in the cold it can hint at separate some kind of separation here um like maybe you get a message that kind of brings you out out of the cold but again with that page of wands it can really just be that you are feeling that fire again feeling like those little prickles of of excitement um that's kind of heating up your space like you're heating up like that that's the energy i'm getting here is sag is like heating up 
Um, so let's see, we have the magician, we have the nine of wands, and we have the seven of pentacles. So again, this magician card is telling me you are in manifestation mode, you are like looking forward to the future and deciding what am I going to create for myself. Um, and you're feeling that kind of fuel. And that's why I think that refine your attention is there. Because I think that you are um, in a way laser focused on on what you need to do. And I do think there's like one obstacle that you need to overcome, which is why like this conclusion and the work through your fears, you're, you're doing that in the month of March. And as you go like chipping away, chipping away, you're starting to feel like, you know, really good. You're starting to um, step into that power of yours. Um, so it's like a little bit of patience, but there's this patience, this seven of pentacles, uh, cause the nine of wands is telling me like, there's one more, there's one more battle you need to fight to get to the 10, to get to that completion or to get to, so it might feel like a lot's on your plate, but damn, it's going to feel good when it's over. Um, look at that. You could be getting a message here because I normally have that off. All right, let's see um, the magician. Give me a clarifier for the magician. Sad, you are manifesting. But okay, look, there's the tower. There's the tower. So whatever you're manifesting, you're also like destroying the old. I mean, it, it's like you're destroying the old and manifesting the new, but it's a complete wipeout. Like I think that whatever you're going through, it's like wipe out completely. Um, so that's why you're kind of being, you're in this energy of like slow build, slow momentum, but it, it will pick up um, because of the fact that you're going to feel it little by little. You're going to feel this uh, and then all of a sudden it just like comes in as that tower uh, and I'm not getting a bad vibe from this tower. I'm getting a vibe like little, little by little, little by little and then maybe somewhere mid-March or at some point while you least expect it, it's just like, boom, everything changes. Um, so let's see, seven of pentacles. Yeah, the knight of pentacles. Look, this is, this is that slow and steady offer. This is why you've needed to practice a little bit of patience, slowly like heating it up. It's like uh, that watched pot, the watch pot never boils. But before you know it, you're going to come back in the room and it's going to be overflowing. And it's like, oh, shit, I forgot about the pot. <laughs> I've been over here focused on my other stuff that I forgot about the pot. And then it like comes to the boil. It, you're ready to go. So we have the eight of pentacles here, the knight of wands and the moon card. So this eight of pentacles is like this nose to the grind feeling that I'm getting for you. It's this like slowly but surely you are putting in the work and before you know it you're going to look up and you're going to see like oh shit I feel really good but then like when you're feeling really good like there's a little bit more that you need to continue that it's like kind of do all things in moderation like the message I'm hearing from that is don't be too quick to celebrate um like the celebration is there but once you have this kind of success, once you start seeing this change, like keep going a little bit further, just so that you are, you know, when you do get to that celebration, when you can look back, it's like, damn, I really, I really did this all with, and it just will hit you all at once at one point. So let's get this eight of ooh, pentacles here. Yeah, five of cups. So this is you kind of, Focusing on the work at hand versus um, whatever you had, whatever loss you had from the past. Because, like I said, you could be still trying to release something from the past, but realize that with the Five of Cups, like there's two, there's two cups there, two cups that are still standing. So at some point, you're going to realize that those two cups are available to you. Um, and then we have the Knight of Wands here. This is, this to me is like that forward motion of you kind of moving forward. Um, but the only thing with the Knight of Wands, it's important to realize that, you know, that passion, you don't want it to extinguish too quickly. So that's why I say that do all things in moderation, like don't get too ahead of yourself. 
uh, because you know there's going to be a moment that you have that you're gonna feel really good here um, and, and it's saying like don't let that fire burn out too quickly like if you burn a candle too long like eventually the candle is going to burn down you know so it's like Keep it, keep, I hope that makes sense because I don't know how else to describe that. So we have the moon card here. What's the moon doing here? Um, the three of cups. So this is kind of that <laughs> celebration factor, okay? Because there's going to be an event that happens here in March for you that you're going to want to start celebrating. You're going to want to start kind of, you know, celebrating these little victories. But what Spirit's telling me is that you have a really big victory coming up that you, you're gonna wanna save your energy for and not get too distracted by this. So it's like once you see these little victories, keep going, keep going, be like, okay, okay, find ways to celebrate those little victories in moderation, but you have a really big victory that's gonna come up. Um, but you could get a little bit in that like illusion and haze if you start, um, you know, celebrating too soon or getting too caught up in the, the celebration part when you're celebrating the, the little victories because there's a big victory. Um, so we have the emperor here. This to me is kind of that energy of knowing what you want, knowing what your end goal is and staying determined because I do feel like you're going to get some offers that come in here. You're going to get some tangible um oh emperor seven of seven of cups refine your attention refine your attention because there's going to be a time on this path where you're gonna have all these options and even if this is in romantic thing like as you start feeling better you know you have all these people who start showing interest in you you have all these little offers because I'm seeing like the page of pentacles I feel like you're going to get offers from everywhere um but it's kind of one of these things where you need to be refined on your attention especially if it's if it is romantic and you have this vision in your head of like this person the type of person you want don't get distracted by the pages. Don't get distracted by the pages because your person will come in. But if you're too busy like getting hung up on pages or or like enjoying your time there, and it's not to say like don't go out, don't go have fun, or don't like entertain anybody else, but stay, keep your eyes on the prize, okay? Um, because it's coming. Because you're going to be in this energy where you are going to be very attractive you're going to be seen as you know a lot of people want to want to give you things and I think like tangible things like taking you on dates or showering you with gifts or giving you opportunities or um like flowers claps 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 I feel like you're getting you're getting um traction of whatever you're doing if it is business it's like you're getting more business you're getting more people who want to work with you just don't get caught up because you have I, I think that for the people that I'm picking up on you have a goal in mind don't get caught up or hung up on the knights and the pages when you want the king when you want that emperor um king or queen you know whatever you're watching for uh but that that ultimate maturity level Okay, so let's see. Um, page of Pentacles here, Three of Wands. Yeah, so the offer you want, it's coming in. Your ships are coming in, and I think you're standing there and you're, you're going to be waiting for them because you know you've been doing the work. You know you've been putting the effort in, so it's only a matter of time. But from the beginning of this reading where we tapped into that Seven of Swords, you do have to get clear with yourself on... How am I deceiving myself? What am I doing that is keeping me from getting to that point that I want to? And that's where you need to start kind of doing that inner work because I see at least by the end of March, you're going to be in a really, really good spot. By the time it hits Aries season, Sag, you're going to be, you're going to be feeling yourself. You're going to be feeling good and you're going to be, you know, um, experiencing some kind of success that I do think is going to 
uh, really kind of shatter what you what exists for you right now. So if you are interested in that extended, I'm going to look into more of this energy, what's coming towards you. Some of the archetype cards, let's pull to get a more defined energy. Let's pull some messages, some advice, as well as tapping into that sexual tarot. Uh, so if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box. Also, be sure to check out my webinar, uh, just even if you wanna learn how to read the tarot better for yourself or learn some new icebreaker information. So uh, yeah, I hope to see you all there and I will see you guys in the extended. Mm -hmm.